All right. Hey, is it going? Mm hmm Okay, I'm calling. Welcome to Optimum Voice Directory Assistance. For what city and state? Hoboken, New Jersey. One moment, please. An agent will assist you. Thank you. What's the name? Yes, uh, Hoboken, New Jersey. What's the name of the listing? The name of the listing, the first, the last name is Pan. P-A-N-T-O-J-A, -A. first name Jacob, J-A-C-O-B. Thank you. Jacob or initial J, Pantoho, nothing assisted in Hoboken or the surrounding areas. Really, I, I got this delivery from UPS, a uh, package of some Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, and, you know, it, it says 10 Marine View Plaza. There's no 10 Marine View Plaza in Hoboken. So there's no J or Jacob with that name? I'm not showing in the list, I'm sorry. And you have you looked in Jersey City as well? As well as Hoboken? Do you have it by zip code? I have 07030-5702. I think no, that is... by zip code and there's no phone number listed, I'm sorry. Okay, well, th th thank you. Is there a way I can find out the Omni Channel? I see the last numbers, it says at Louisville, Kentucky something Tradeport Drive, and the, I can't see the first number. The rest of the number is, it's something 778469997. It's the OSG or something, yeah, Omni Channel. Hello, my name is Casey from the Help Desk. How can I help you today? Yes, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm trying to find the number for something Omni Channel. It's in Louisville, Kentucky, area code 50258. And it's, I can't see the first number. It's on a return label. It's on Trade Port Drive. And I see, I, can, I don't know what the first number is, but the last, 7-7 uh, seven, seven is the last two numbers of the first number, and then 8-4-6-9-9-9-7. But I don't know what that first number is. Could you repeat that, please? Okay. Number? The, the, do you want, what number do you want? I see a label, and it's missing the first letter and the first number of all the addresses. It's for the uh, something OSG or something Omni, O-M-N-I channel. It's on something 601 Trade Port, T-R-I-D-E-P-O-R-T Drive, Louisville, Kentucky, 40258. And they show a number, but I can't see the first number. It's, the last number is 77846-9997. But, I mean, I don't know whether it's one, one through nine. I don't have to dial nine numbers. It's pretty hard without the exact name, sir, unfortunately. Well, I have, I have, the, exact, I have the exact address. It's, it's o, o, OSG Omni Channel on Tradeport Drive. It's 601. It's, I can't know what the first number is. This is crazy. Oh, man. oh here it is. 77601 seven, Tradeport Drive. It's actually DickSportingGoods.com, 7601 Tradeport Drive, Louisville, Kentucky, 40258. Oh, it shows up on the second. Huh? Starting by a T. Tradeport, right, T-R-A-D-E, and the second word, Port, P-O-R-T, Drive, D-R-I-V-E. And it's actually DickSportingGoods.com, DickSportingGoods. I'm sorry, sir, but I have no listing. You have no listing for Dick Sporting Goods? No. Truly sorry. In Louisville? In Louisville, no listing. I home. never get any, you know, I used to have, I, when we had AT&T, they could always get numbers. I've never succeeded in getting a number out of this, out of this stupid, t I'm going to go back to landline, I swear. Thank you anyway. Bye-bye. I, I just get sick of this shit. I really do. How the hell? I know what I'll do. I'll dial. Let's see. I don't have the first. It doesn't have that first number. You know, I can look it up. I have a, a directory guide in there which tells you the address and it'll tell you what the area code is for the area. It's a zip code guide that's that thick from like 1991. It's a way to look up the exact zip code and tell you have the address. So anyway, I want to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you first is this. I got two packages delivered here. 
I said, well, what did I order? I don't remember ordering anything. So I opened them up. First thing I opened up was this belt. Now the belt sells for $12. So I said, oh, a Nike belt. So I said, this, this, this isn't for me. And it's for Jacob Pat, Tantoja, right? So then I went downstairs. The woman wasn't at the desk. That I had a sign on the door for UPS. I'll show you in a minute to, need, to ring a bell. I found this in the morning. So I finally went down and missed the man, the UPS man. He runs in the building and runs out sometime between 5 and 7. So I'm thinking about sitting down there and confronting him and raising hell and screaming at him because I'll tell you why. It's not just, not just Jacob who also is missing out on a $40 men's, men's uh, nice winter suit. I'm sure he could use it, Dick's. Your passion is ours. Oh, maybe it has it on here. Here's his bill. Here's his bill. Oh, look at that. 201421. Oh, wow. 1165. I never thought of that. Oh, look. I actually, actually has it on his bill. And now it says sold to Lori Romano in Nutley, New Jersey. Oh, I'll call it 1201. Now, why should I go through this? You know what a guy told me? He said, oh, just keep it. Just keep it. He, the, the, he'll tell them he never got it and they'll replace it. I'm not that kind of person, you know. I didn't even know what it was. I decided I should open it up to see how pressing it was. This was 3-5, and now we're at 3, what's today, 3, what is today, 3-11 or 12? No, the 17th is Friday. Hello, is this Jacob? Is this Jacob, or is this Lori Romano? Uh, my name is Randy Wicker, and I got a delivery here for Jacob Pantajoa, it's like a Dick sporting goods jacket and a, 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 a belt. And the address was given as 10 Marine View Plaza. I live at 1 and it's apartment 10E. I live in apartment 10E, but they don't ring the bell or anything. And I found it. I said, what the hell is this? I opened the one. I said, well, I didn't order any Nike belt. And then I opened the bigger one because I said, somebody downstairs said, just keep it. They'll say they didn't get it. You know, and, and, and you you can keep it. You know, I said, I'm not that way. I, the man might, so I hope. They won't what? The address in. I put the wrong address in. They won't give me my money back, so. Wow. You know, I'm going to introduce, a, I'm going to go down to my local city councilman in Hoboken and demand, I have a sign on my door, a huge sign on the thing saying UPS ring bell. I had sixteen or $1,700 worth of goods left and a package no bigger than these two. And I didn't find it, so I went out in the morning at 10.30 to take the recycles out. It had sat there all night long, and it was a new Mac right. Mini, which was $900, and another bunch of small chip discs and stuff. Anybody could have just grabbed it and walked away. Oh, gosh. They drop it in front of your door and run. And I have a big right. sign up, UPS right. ring bell. I'm not asking them to wait for me to answer. Just let me know there's something out there. So anyway, I'll give you, you have my phone number. How do you want to handle this? I don't know. My, 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 it's my nephew. He lives at two, two Marine View Plaza. Because no one knew his name over there. I had the door lady. She called number oh, two. She called. She, at first okay. she thought the realty office has, I'm in apartment 10E. I can leave it's it with. One Marine View, right? Yeah. One Marine View. So can I send him and his mom over there? Yeah, sure. When? Let me call you back, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Well, you know, if your name hadn't been on the bill, I called and tried to get Dick's Jordan Goods address because oh, it didn't fine. print out right. I called information. There was no Jacob Pantoja listed with our stupid Optimum Online phone company. When AT&T used it, I could always get a number. I gave them the address of Dick's Sporting Goods shipping area. They couldn't find that. I mean, this great digital age we have is nonsense. Ten Marine View Plaza. One guy said to me, oh, I said, it only goes up to five down where the movie used to be, where the subway shop is. That's what I said. And they, UPS, they called the driver. The driver said he dropped it off at 10 Marine View Plaza. I said, there is no 10 Marine View Plaza. Wow, man, we have a real complaint. You know, I, I, I hope that I can call on you to testify or something or we'll make a video when they come over to pick it up because I'm going to give this to my city councilman and hope. And I'm sure that Hoboken's law requiring, saying that UPS would be fined $25 if they don't ring a bell if it's clearly marked and asked for. You know, and I'm sure that's a violation of federal trade, interstate commerce regulations or something. You know, but in this case, what would have happened? What would have happened if I'd been the guy 
actually, to tell you the truth, I have a busy life. I just had this sitting around. I ran down. The door lady wasn't there. I took it down the next day. She was there. She called the travel agency, which sometimes has the real estate agency, which has stuff delivered there because apparently UPS won't deliver to a business. And so they weren't there. Then she called Building 2. They didn't know the name. So, so then I said, well, I'll cry. Right they lived there 10 years. Well, I've lived here since 1976. I'm an old, I'm an old timer here. Yeah, 76. Okay. So let me call my sister, see if she can walk over. Okay, you have the number 201-201-656-3280. Uh, what is the apartment number over there? Their number is 201. Yeah, but I mean, what is their uh, apartment number in t building 2? Oh, really? Oh, so there is on the other building. Okay, well, then I know how to get them. If they, they don't. So I'm here, so just let me know. I, I will. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, so there. This is, I consider this to be real testimony about what's wrong with UPS and what's wrong, and we're not going to put up with it anymore. Come with me while you're running, still running. I just want to show this. So I have my phone. I have my credit card bill here for a reason. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit distracted because I'm a little bit worked up. I really get ticked off. I have on this bill, which I just have to pay. I have charges that total. I have one box that was eight hundred ninety-two dollars and three cents. Right? Eight hundred ninety-two dollars and three cents for one thing. Come outside here. I have this at one lock now. This box, this is $892. This is my Mac Mini that I ordered. I got it on the 27th of, I guess it was delivered on the 28th. I have, step, 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 keep it running, just step out here. Now this is what my house looks like. You come down the step, you come down the, the thing, and you step, I mean, I don't want to lock myself out. That would be fun. Let me start out in the hall. Anyway, so I have here UPS ring bell, arrow. Here is a bell. Now, if the, oh, UPS, I didn't ask them to stay to say hello to me. All I asked them was, is ring the bell. I know they're busy, so just drop the package, ring the bell, and run back, run on. So I'm not asking you to give up your life, not to keep your schedule. I know they're working to death for probably nothing in this e-commerce world where they deliver for nothing, like overnight. You know, I get free delivery from b and Photo. But what would happen? If somebody downstairs, somebody had a package like this in front of their door, and I saw a guy walking down, I knocked on the woman's door. She had a knock like this, right? Now that's a little bit, you know, that, that, that's some work, so okay. But I knocked it, and as a guy was walking down, I said, can you believe there is a, just of this package there, anybody could take it? Now I say this to a kid who's walking along, and suddenly I realize he's not a tenant in the building. He's a delivery, a pizza delivery guy or something who just walks down and goes down the steps on the second floor to the first. He could have easily just grabbed that bag. I say to him, you know, can you imagine they just leave it there? Anybody could take it? The next time he's making a delivery, he might see a box like that. A lot of them, some of them are even illegals, working on almost nothing. And they work on for tips. I've interviewed them on the street, talk to them. They get no pay, they ride around on bicycles, they deliver food, they survive by living on tips. Which, believe me, isn't great when you're living food by tricycle or whatever. And so anyway, so it's ridiculous that we live in this world. And I'm going to ask Hoboken, New Jersey, to be the first city in the United States to pass a law which says that if someone has a sign on their wall and a bell to be rung, that if a package is left without the bell being rung, that they are liable to a $25 fine if a citizen files a complaint. And believe me, I'll be the first one to file a complaint. I'll put signs up, I'm gonna grab the UPS man when he comes in the door, I'm gonna tell him off. He said he delivered it to Tan Marie New Plaza and that doesn't exist, and that woman would have been beaten out of her her money and her gift? What nonsense. So anyway, I've gone on enough. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, how many minutes are we up to? 14 minutes. Good. That's good enough. Thank you. Okay.